you have asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or long COVID, number one, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, international leader in molecular medicine and nitric oxide biochemistry. If you suffer from asthma, COPD, pulmonary disease, or even long COVID, then nitric oxide may be the missing component. We know that nitric oxide is a natural vasodilator, meaning that it dilates blood vessels, improves oxygen and blood flow and nutrient delivery to every cell in the body. But it's a smooth muscle relaxant. And so it's a bronchodilator as well as a vasodilator. So similar into the, the airways, nitric oxide, when it's produced, can relax the smooth muscle surrounding the bronchioles, lead to bronchodilation. Asthma is chronically constricted airways. If we deliver nitric oxide, we open up those airways we open up the, the pulmonary circulation, we match ventilation to perfusion, and overcome the, the pathophysiology of asthma. Same thing with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's obstructive because the airways are chronically constricted. And if you can't deliver oxygen to the lower airways, you can't oxygenate blood. You become hypoxic. If we can deliver nitric oxide, restore the production of nitric oxide, we can dilate this, the bronchioles, we can relax the smooth muscle of the bronchioles, and lead to better airway, better oxygenation, better blood oxygenation. And then long COVID, when we look at the, the endothelial cells and the adhesion molecules and the inflammation that occurs in the lining of the blood vessels, nitric oxide is not only dilating the blood vessels to improve perfusion and oxygenation, but it downregulates the adhesion molecules. Adhesion molecules like the ACE2 receptor where the spike protein binds. Adhesion molecules like ECAM, VCAM, these are adhesion molecules where monocytes and neutrophils and platelets start to stick and create a roadblock and the microcirculation. So if you suffer from asthma, COPD, or long COVID, consider nitric oxide as a potential solution to your underlying problem.